Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks bringing you another Logic 10.5 tutorial video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can pitch a hi-hat roll like this. And the same process would apply for a snare roll as well. Now, before we get into the actual part of the video about doing the pitched hi-hat roll, I'm actually gonna quickly finish out making this beat. All right, so that is the pattern. Now, if you're wondering how I did those uh, really fast rolls in the step sequencer, it's quite easy. Just go to your modifier over here or the drop down and go the note repeat lane. It'll be there by default. This one you might have to choose from the drop down. And then you just click into a cell and then you just click and uh, here, I'll just close this. So I'll, I'll click on note repeat, click drag, and you can choose how many notes it repeats, right? So that's all I did there. So to do the pitched hi hat roll, you need to actually convert the step sequenced region to a MIDI region. There's no way to do a uh, pitched hi hat roll directly in the step sequencer. So all you have to do to do that is just two clicks away. But I would suggest saving your pattern just by copy and pasting it over, popping it into your uh, live loop section so you can access the step sequence pattern later if you want. So I did that, it's right there. Now right click on this and then convert to MIDI region. Yours will be down here because you probably haven't used this. So now that step sequence region turns into a MIDI region. And if you double click it, it looks just like a piano roll like you'd expect. And this is just a piano roll associated with our drum machine designer, which is housing our drum kit, right? So just so you know how this works, the drum, the drum machine designer is basically a multi output drum plugin, right? So each element of my kit has its own track right here. But you'll notice that the MIDI region is just on this top part of our grouped instrument. It's not on it's, you know, you don't see you don't see the individual MIDI for the kick and the hi-hat and the snare and all that on its own track. But you do see the output and the volume and the, and the actual track channel. So you can put on like third party processing, pan, all that sort of stuff, right? So what we want to do is we want to get the hi-hat onto the individual channel that's creating the hi-hat. So all you do is you right click on that MIDI region and then you're going to select separate by note pitch. Mine's up at the top because I've just done I've done this a couple times prepping for the video. Yours will be down in the MIDI folder, separate by note pitch. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop all of those on the individual channel. So here's the MIDI for my kick. So it's cool because now I can export it as a, you know, I can bounce into audio, do whatever I want to do. But here is the hi-hat, which is what we want. So now what I can do, because this is this hi-hat's just coming from a quick sampler, right? And now because I have this set to one shot or classic mode, we have the individual pitches now. So now I can do my pitched hi-hat roll, taking the exact same information from the uh, from the step sequencer. And we'll pitch this one down as well. All right, guys, that's going to sum up the video. If you have any questions or comments, post those below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys want to download any of the content I used in this video, you can. A lot of it is free on our site. For instance, the Anna Tubank Drip, as well as our Melody Loop Kit Anthems. You can go grab that for free. Link is in the description. If you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, you guys know the YouTube drill. Please subscribe to our channel. It does mean a lot. The support really helps us grow. And if you do subscribe, consider hitting that notification bell so you actually get notified when we release cool new videos just like this one. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.